You're watching Road Bites. This is part two of increasing coding engagement. This episode is about flow. So psychologist Cheek sent me highly to find flow as when your mental capacity is perfectly peaked and there's a sense of value and pleasure in the task at hand. So some key features include you lose a sense of time and physical need. You're instead focused on the feedback that you're getting from the activity at hand. In a previous video on game addiction, I talked about kids wearing diapers because they're so into the game. I'm pretty sure that they're in flow state. I'm not saying I never peed on myself, but flow will get you in that mindset. So flow has been shown to be a center in a plot of skill versus challenge. In other words, you're best engaged when you're coding at a level that's respectively as challenging to what you're familiar with. So for example, here the challenge is too much and I'm just too stressed in the activity. Here the challenge is too easy and I'm really bored. But here is where the sweet spot is, and I'm in the flow state, baby. So basically, you want to get good enough at coding to where the task at hand is not too overwhelming. Here are some tips I think that can help you reach that goal. Number one, know the basics. Set up a workflow that you get really comfortable with. Get really familiar with your text editor, know your syntax, know variables, know what you need to know to get your coding down pat. Second thing is to get comfortable with the Google algorithm. I know a lot of times it's, it's hard when you always need help from uh, other people, but if you could find answers for yourself and you learn how to find and read Stack Overflow and errors, you'll be really good. Number three is have a clear objective. A clear goal might be to set up a sign-in login for your website versus code for three hours. Four is to avoid distractions. Turn off, turn off your cell phone, turn off YouTube, turn off Facebook if you need to. And last but not least, uh, work at your skill level. Referencing back to last week on habit formation, first focus on just consistency. Do something every day. And if you can do that um, slowly, that'll be a great way to, to start your habit of coding. And eventually you'll get into the flow state. And we all know what happens when you do that. You flow in your pants. So what do you think about flow? Go ahead and leave a comment below. Don't you know? That's how I get my flow. That's how I go though, don't you do? Do-si-do. Thanks for watching Robites.